How's it going guys? Alex here. Welcome back to a another Doki Battle video and today I'm doing something that I've been meaning to do for the longest period of time and of course I don't know how the majority of you are going to react to this but this is something that I'm going to be doing for like maybe weeks, months, maybe not years but basically the point is I'm going to be showcasing every single unit in my possession at Super Attack 10 and of course I am going to be switching between Agility Tech, Int, STR and Physical and the way that this is going to be set up is apart from you know the whole weekday stuff is I'm going to start off with Hero and then on the second week, I'm going to go ahead and do the villains. And then on a Saturday for the first week, I'm going to do a showcase of all of them on the exact same team. And of course, I'll do the same for villains. And then on the Sunday of the villain team showcase, I will go ahead and actually race the two teams in a race. So that is going to be very, very exciting. Of course, you, um, I hope you guys, almost lost my words there. Hope you guys are having a great day as always. And if you do enjoy today's video, consider leaving a like and subscribing if you are new. Now, the question is... What team am I going to be running? Because, of course, if I run a team of multiple agility type units, I am, of course, going to be showcasing multiple units at once. But today, we are going to be... Let's try that again. But today, I'm going to be showcasing a starter Goku. And the reason why I chose him in particular is because if you have a look at the EVZ space, he actually has lowest stats out of any SSR. At the moment, I believe... Did I look at the global version or JP? Evil one. Basically, he has lowest stats when it comes to just a base SSR. When I looked at it, don't, like, take my word for it. I'm pretty certain that it, um, that is the global version. But it kind of makes sense. We are on the global version of the game. But the reason for the majority of the team is they are basically there just to tank the hits because I want to take as little damage as possible and I'll like I said, I want to reduce the amount of units that I showcase in one team. Technically, I, I am showcasing um, Super Saiyan Margin or Super Saiyan 2 Margin Vegeta. He technically is a Super Saiyan 2. Let's go ahead and do this. And I was initially just going to run them on. Actually, I am going to do that just to make it fair for the other leads. So. My plan was to initially just show them off on their respective 120 leads, of course. But the issue with that is, I don't have Super 17. And because I don't have Super 17, it will be a bit unfair when I showcase some of the villain units. So, I am going to be running my own Margin Vegeta. And, of course, I am going to be doing the same for the other leads. Apart from Trunks, who is currently not on Global. And, of course, I will be switching over to the Japanese version of the game from time to time. If I have certain unit, um, units on a Japanese version of the game that I may have at Super Attack 10 over there. But not on a Global version, of course. And a good example of that... Is STL Super Saiyan God Goku. Of course, we have the Tech Great 8 Bardock as well. But for the most part, the majority of my units on Global are at Super Attack 10. I am going to be summoning on a Type Banner as soon as another one comes back round. But they do currently have one of the Japanese version of the game, which I probably did miss. And of course, Dino, shout out to him. If you haven't seen his video already, uh, he like finally managed to summon Mighty Mask. So let's go ahead and grab this. So I suppose in some ways, this is a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta showcase as well. And we should be fine here. Of course, just a tank. It's like, just, just tanking. That is why these units are here. 2B tanks. Right. And here we go. Off to not so much of a run, uh, rocking sub. Of course, the reason why I managed to get the Goku 2 Super Attack 10 is thanks to the crossover event. And if I'm not mistaken, I actually still have a ton. Wow, we are actually doing a ton of damage here. I still have a ton of STR Super Saiyan Gokus left over from the crossover event. So maybe the, if they ever release another Goku, we could potentially, you know, raise the super tax even further. But I'm pretty certain I have enough, um, you know, super, uh, STR Super Saiyan Gokus for the uh, units that I am missing. And let's see, what do we want to do here? I don't want to die, of course. So I am going to go ahead and use the bulb item, which actually doesn't even raise my defense. So never mind. Um, you know what? I'm going to trust my boy Vegito. I'm going to trust in my boy Candy Vegito. High chance, okay? High chance. 147k. And I didn't even go over the main thing, which is, of course, what the actual card does, which I, of course, will show you guys in a few moments. Just don't super attack. There we go. We didn't get super attacked, but I'm extremely disappointed in Candy Vegito there. But thankfully, I can just go ahead and put the STR... Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta in that slot. So, let's go over the Goku. He gives a 30% HP and attack boost to Agility Tech and STR types. He causes extreme damage and there are no additional details when it comes to the Super Attack apart from the fact that he can Super Attack early. He gives two keys to all of your allies as well as a 2% two, um, 2 attack boost. As, as well as a 20% attack boost when HP is 50% or above. He has Golden Warrior, same Warrior Race, Super Saiyan Z Fighters, prepared for battle, Kamen Mihar and shattering the limits. Of course, he is going to be a very good partner for a unit like Margin Vegeta. He has a Kamen Mahal link as well, which is a common attack link, I think, on a um, 
Pardon me, which is a fairly common attack link on a agility team, depending on the units that you are running. Prepare for battle, one of the most common key links on his team as well. So he has a pretty solid link set overall, but even if he didn't have a solid, uh, solid link set, pardon me, he still gives the two keys to all of your allies as well as that attack boost, which is one of the most important things when it comes to a unit like that. But unfortunately, it does not seem like we are going to super... Actually, we are. We are going to super attack with Margin Vegeta, and it's a shame that he doesn't have Prepare for battle because it would make things so much easier. Here we go. Wow, not tanking as well as we were before. I wonder what uh, he leveled up. But I didn't get super attack. That's the thing. Does it just work on any unit? I'm so confused right now. I'm actually extremely confused here. Because I know that for a fact that he did lower my defense. Because, of course, he did super attack me. Or did, did he super attack me? I don't think he super attacked me. I'm so confused right now. Why did my defense get lower there? And, uh, yeah, that kind of happened. So, sorry for the cut. Right, and now we have the tech type stage. But G, oh, don't fail me here. Okay, he's a tech type. And I actually love that sprite. I dig it. Grab these. And then let's go ahead and grab these. Never mind. Grab these with Piccolo. No, not even a, more about that life. Come on, let's dodge this. There we go. That is what I'm talking about. More of that. More of that. But he just doesn't like... Okay, he dodges... I will take it. I will take it. You know what? That 50% chance to dodge is honestly equivalent to the 50% chance of raising a super attack with a 50% chance. It's just non-existent. It's more like 25%. And again, the biggest issue with... Now that I think about it, with the Super Saiyan... Hmm. With the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta is the fact that he... Like, his passive has a limitation, but he can start. So let's rely on that. And of course, my Vegeta is going to... Put a bit of work in, in there as well. <clears throat> and of course, when I do it, end up showing off the Margin Vegeta at his best, I will maybe show off Dinos. That is probably the best thing to do, actually. I, like, here's the thing. I don't have Margin Vegeta or Super 17 on the Japanese version of the game, which sucks massively, but his is 100%. Like, a 100% Margin Vegeta is something that you do not want to miss out on when showcasing these units. And of course, the start of the playlist should be there now. Pardon I me, mean, I'm starting to think. Like, do I separate the playlist? Do I make it so it's like... Wait a minute, do I have another unit with the Kamehameha link here? I do not. But do I make it so that it's all in one playlist or just separate it by type? I think I'll separate it by type just to make it a bit easier for you guys to find. And of course he has stunned here, so here we go. And I swear, if I actually beat it with this team, I'm going to be pleasantly surprised. But we are making extremely good progress here. And we have a lot of our items left. How awesome would it be if this Goku was a new curve? Well, not a new curve, but like he had some sort of Kaioken type mechanic. Just his attack like getting higher and higher. For every single super attack, that would have been dope, 100%. Right, now the question is, I, I know I could have seen it, but I'm not too certain if Margin Vegeta's passive is at Margin Vegeta. If Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta's passive is active here. Let's grab these with the Piccolo, and let's go ahead and grab these with the STR Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. And honestly, I'm just so excited for the coming days. I'm probably going to address this in a different video, but I am, yeah, I, I, I'm going all out. I am going all out. And of course, I get super attacks. I'm hoping that it's still active. Okay, it was still active. I think that was the last turn. So by the time that it comes back around, it should have gone away. But we are legit making incredible progress here. And that Goku just coming in clutch with the key. We may actually be able to beat this. Surprisingly, to my surprise, we are actually on the brink of beating it. I say on the brink, but of course, we do have three agility type units here. We are going to move on to the SDR stage, which shouldn't be like any problem for us at all because of these three agility type units. And he is stunned. Margin Vegeta can actually stun. It is a rare chance when it happens. You're, you are legit in situations like this. You're just baffled because you can't even like fathom that it just happened because I don't even know where I'm going with this. Yeah, I'm just trying to say big words, which isn't really working in this situation, and things just got a bit awkward there. So let's go ahead and use an Usher here. Let's go from here. So we are pretty close to a Doken mode, but at the same time, it's like... And the biggest issue with L Black and Zabasu is that we are not super attacking, so... And I can't even... Yeah, you know what? Even if I wanted to keep the Piccolo, I wouldn't have been able to because of the key placement. And we are very close to a Doken mode here. So if we get lucky, we should be able to activate it with maybe... Su I mean, no, Margin Vegeta. That is definitely going to be the better option because we don't even have Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta here. And yeah, Vegeta's passive has run out. So I can't even bring the Goku around. So, wow. Is this... Hmm, is this a recovery going to allow me to bring the Goku here? It's not, so you do need a Senzu Bean. So that is confirmed. I didn't even know that. You do need a Senzu Bean. 
there is an item that you can, like, that can legit remove effects. But I'm definitely not going to be running that. And of course, we get super attacks. We have super Saiyan Free Vegeta in that last slot there. I don't think he can stun in this stage, so I am in a bit of a pickle. And of course, I can't even. Yeah, he can't stun. And he can't seal on the second to last stage. Isn't that just great? But we are getting a Doka mode here with Majin Vegeta. Unfortunately, I had to go ahead and get rid of my Super Saiyan Goku. And of course, I ha um, hope you guys have been enjoying this video so far. And if you made it to this point in the video, let's get a hashtag. Super Saiyan Goku. There we go. Nice and simple. Hashtag Super Saiyan Goku. And we are most likely going to get bodied here. Just because I don't have any tanking. I can't stun. I could have put the other Goku in there. And it is pretty much over. Which is a bit of a shame. But I couldn't have done much about it. I mean, I could have used the Usher. But it's not the point. I hope you guys did enjoy the video as always. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. Be on the lookout for the channel in the coming days and i heard that there was some sort of glitch when it comes to like actually finding youtube videos i believe it was d3 that had like all of his videos just magically disappear so if you haven't clicked that bell yet next to the subscribe button go ahead and do so you will be notified when i upload a video but i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i will see you all in the next one